In the stem of the problem, it says passengers are only allowed to check up to four bags. That means our table represents all the possible number of bags a passenger can check. Zero, one, two, three, or four. So all these probabilities have to add up to one. So to determine what the probability of checking three bags is, we can just take one and subtract out all the other probabilities. So the probability a passenger checks three bags is 0.2. Since the two passengers are being chosen at random, the number of bags that each passenger checks is independent of the other passenger. So we can just multiply the probability the first passenger checks at least two bags by the probability that the second passenger checks at least two bags, 0.55 times 0.55, and we get 0 0.3025. This is a discrete random variable, and the expected value is just going to equal the mean. Now this formula is included on the AP stats formula sheet. All we have to do is take the sum of each of the number of bags times their associated probabilities. So zero bags times a probability of 0 0.05 plus one bag times a probability of 0.4 plus two bags times a probability of 0.3 plus three bags times a probability of 0.2 plus four bags times a probability of 0 0.05 and we get the average number of bags per passenger is 1.8 bags. We can also say the number of bags we expect a randomly selected passenger to check is 1.8. Now in reality that's impossible, but the expected value is the average number of bags checked for many, many passengers. Now the standard deviation formula isn't included on the AP stats formula sheet, but the variance formula is. So the variance of a discrete random variable x equals the sum of the quantity of each of the random variable's values with the mean subtracted from them, then squared, and then multiplied by the associated probability. So we're going to use technology to calculate this. If you press the stat button and then enter, you get into your list function. And in list one, we're going to type all the numbers of bags that a passenger can check. Zero, one, two, three, and four. And in list two, we're going to type all the probabilities. 0 0.05 for zero bags, 0 0.4 for one, 0.3 for two bags, 0.2 for three bags, and 0 0.05 for four bags. Now the formula says we need to subtract the mean from each value our random variable x number of bags can be. So if we go over to list three and we press up, down here is the function bar. We can input a function to calculate list 3. So I'm going to type list 1 by pressing 2nd and 1, and I'm going to subtract 1.8. Now here's all the number of bags with the mean 1.8 subtracted from them. Now our formula says to take these values and square them. So in list 4, I'm going to say take list 3, so 2nd 3, and square it. Now the last thing our formula says to do is to multiply all of these squared differences by the associated probability. So I'm going to press up on list 5 and I'm going to say take list 4, second 4, and multiply it by list 2, our probabilities, second 2. There we go. Now the sum of this list is going to give us our variance. And then all we have to do is take the square root of that to get our standard deviation. Here's a quick way to get the sum. If you press stat and you go over to calculate, one variable statistics, our first option, and it's going to say, which list do you want to use? I'm going to say second five. So this second value right here, the 0.96, this is the sum of list five. So I'm going to take the square root of that sum, and here's our standard deviation. Now let me show you a way quicker way to do that. If we go back to our list, we see in list one we have the number of bags, and in list two we have the probabilities. If you just press stat and you go to calculate, one var stats, choose list one, your number of bags for your list, and for frequencies, we're going to put list two. This is going to tell the calculator how many times to use each of the values stored in list one. So if we go down to calculate and press enter, all right, here's our mean, 1.8, that we found with the formula. And right down here, here's our standard deviation that we found with that much longer formula. 
If we're given the passengers checked at least one bag, to determine the probability that they've checked four bags, we can use this formula. This formula is also given on the AP Stats formula sheet. So it says the probability of A given event B equals the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So if we translate this into our problem, the probability a passenger checks four bags given they've checked at least one equals the probability that a passenger checked four bags and at least one divided by the probability that they checked at least one bag. So if they've checked four bags, then they've automatically checked at least one. So the probability they've checked four and at least one is just the probability that they've checked four, 0 0.05. Now if we look at our table, the probability that they checked at least one is 0.4 for one bag, plus 0.3 for two bags, plus 0.2 for three bags, plus 0 0.05 for four bags. So the probability that a passenger checked four bags, given they checked at least one, is about 0 0.0526. Here's another way to do part D. Imagine there's exactly 100 passengers. Then there would be five who checked zero bags, 40 who checked one, 30 who checked two, 20 who checked three, and five who checked four. So looking at these actual numbers, there's five passengers who checked four bags divided by a total of 95 passengers who checked at least one bag. And that ends up giving us the exact same probability. If you liked this video, check out my random variables playlist. We talk about discrete and continuous random variables, transforming and combining random variables, and random variables that follow a binomial or geometric setting. It's a great way to prepare for the AP Stats exam.